This shit get greasy for of Gotti We G-O-G. pop out like it's a hobby They say we ain't get back gang Then them niggas smoking molly We be turned up in the party she a- Three, two, one In the Sky Podcast Vino 400 Yo, what's nice good, man? On, man? Yeah, nice to be here, too. How's it going for you? Good, man. Music going good. I feel like I've been killing the game for, like, a good three years now. Then, how old are you? I'm 19. Okay, I fuck with that. Um, yeah. Where are you from originally? Um, uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. West Parana. Like the Prime area. What, what was it like growing up there? <laughs> uh, shit. All I remember is fights, people getting shot, all kind of crazy stuff. But like, more so like before I before I even was able to be in the streets, I just remember all that stuff happening around me. Like seeing a lot of that police sirens and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, were you ever like a fighter yourself growing up? Uh, I got in a couple fights, but that was cause, only because I was small and people thought, oh, he look, I could beat him up. But nah, I was always like a little strong little kid. So, yeah. Okay. Now, when, when was like music first incorporated into your life? Like, when did you start to really have an interest for it? Shit, as far as I can remember, I always like, I don't know, I just always wanted to be a be a rapper, you feel me? So even before I was recording, like when I was like 10 years old, like I used to write in a little notebook or me and my big brother be in the mirror rapping, you feel me? That's cool. So, yeah, cool. it just you. actually, like when I turned, I, I've been rapping for three years, so three years ago, I actually found the studio and started recording my music, you feel me? But I, I've been writing all my life. Now, would you, now you mentioned your brother. Do you think he has a big inspiration on your music? Oh, yeah, 100%. Because, like, even though, like, we was just playing around with it in the house and stuff, we were, like, rap five mom. It was, like, one, two, three, ABC. So, I mean, it was just for fun. But he actually started taking it serious before me. Cause he was a little older, so he he got to get out of the house and find studios and actually record before I ever recorded, and then he ended up going to jail, and that's what made me say like I'm gonna take this serious for him, and then went from there. Oh, is he still in jail now? Yeah, he's still in jail right now. He actually get out in March. Hey, that's what's up. Oh, yeah, my bad. That's what's up. What happened? Or are you gonna be? Like it don't matter. Uh, yeah, it don't really sure. matter. That nigga, he been in and out of jail since he was like seventeen. He like twenty one now. Like he came home, but he never really been out a full year since he was seventeen. So he just keep in and out. He never really had time to go back to the studio because he was fighting probation and house arrest. And this time he actually went back to jail for violating his probation. And he had to do six more months, so he'll be out in March. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good to hear that he's getting out. I hope he hope he does better and stays out of jail. I mean, yeah, yeah, it sucks for that real. People got to be confined to that, regardless. You know what I mean? Facts. I, could, I couldn't imagine, bro. Like, I'd be watching shit about like, you know, top ten teens who get like a life sentence, and there's like fucking yeah. twelve year old kids. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Go to jail for? I mean, they do like kill their like parents and shit but <laughs> yeah it'd be the little psycho kids <laughs> like psycho, like psychotic ass kids yeah. bro like i don't fuck with jail i went to jail twice but i ain't really it'd be like small stuff for me like i only did like three four days in there but just that just knowing them little couple days i know like this ain't no place i want to be like that shit lame as fuck like i can't have my phone and shit i just feel weird this shit lame i ain't fucking with that shit i'd rather be out here Chasing money, chasing my dream, you feel me? I can't be locked up in that way for no time. Exactly. exactly. You yeah. can't let nothing lock you down when you're chasing shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. And it's, I used to, a long time ago, when I wasn't doing shit, really, like I wasn't chasing after any. I was just, you know, just kind of stagnant. I don't know. I can't even imagine myself, like, 
if I if I were to just like sit in the house all day and like be like I used to and just not do Ugh. shit, I'd go bro, crazy g- now. Bro, jail is ten times worse. You just oh. in a fucking box, just thinking. That's all you can do is think. Look at the fucking ceiling, like it's dirty in that shit. Is you don't even got pockets on your jumper. This shit is uncomfortable as hell, bro. You ain't got nothing to put in your pockets. <laughs> nothing, like, yeah, yeah, but, like, it's just feel weird, bro. Yeah, you feel like, yeah. shit weird. You got any, like, crazy shit that happened to you in jail? Uh, nah, not really, like, like, nah, like, I just ran into people who I really ain't, on the outside world, I ain't really fuck with them that much, you feel me? But okay. it's a lot of people who don't fuck with me and I don't even know them, you feel me, just because like I'm so known and they probably hate me because I'm doing better than what they doing at day music or some shit. Or you feel me? So I, I ran into people like that, like people who knew me and I actually didn't know them, but they ain't come at me wrong or nothing. Like they just actually told me like, Oh yeah, I'm from this side and I know they don't fuck with you and shit, yeah, but I ain't I ain't know nothing with you, you feel me? I see what you're doing, you feel me, keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, I right, respect that. So, like, most of the time when a stranger, like, comes up to you and actually talks to you, like, they know you and you don't, like... Yeah. And that shit's weird. Like, I go to the mall and I see people staring at me and shit. And I don't know how to... You don't know how to react because it's, like, can't come off too aggressive. It might be a fan. But you don't know if they out to harm you. So, it's just be weird. You feel me? Like, it's like, fuck, they staring at me. I don't know if they want to come take a picture or fucking try to... Do some crazy shit. <laughs> what you need is just smile at him and wave. <laughs> yeah, I just keep like, going. Based I off can't, that I reaction. can't, I can't even really go to the mall in my area. Like, that shit, too many people in that know me, like, it get aggravating. They stop me, Vino, what's up? All right, like, one time I was in the mall, I was in the mall with, with I think I was with b Yeah, I was with b Fat Soul, C-Base, all, the whole 94 crew. And we was shopping, we was getting some clothes and shit. And like it was this group of little boys and shit. And I heard heard him say, "Bruh, just go over there and talk to him." Like I heard him say it, but I just act like I ain't hear him. You feel me? And, but the kid was too scared to come up to me, anyways. And I actually got into a fight in the mall with some nigga who I don't know what he was on with me, but shit, what happened? The, I was just walking through the mall, and I guess he had some type of problems with me. You feel me? So. I don't be knowing these people. They be knowing me, you feel me? And I don't be knowing what the issue be about, but that's just what come with this fame, you feel me? So before I even know it, like, I turn around, he already in my face swinging and shit. So we got into a little fight. We didn't really get to fight because security was there the whole time and shit. Broke the fight up, and we got kicked out of the mall and shit like that. <laughs> so, yeah. That's so <laughs> stupid. Like, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. At you. So now I don't, even, I don't even shop in my area no more, you feel me? I got to go to... Dolphin Mall, Dayland, and all that shit. How, how far you got to drive? It's like thirty minute drive. <laughs> that sucks. Fifty or fifteen. I go to I go to Dayland too. That's like a little fifteen minute drive. Oh, not, so it's basically just like people in like kind of your city and your neighborhood that like. Yeah, like my neighborhood, bro. It's a lot of love here. It's a lot of hate here too. You feel me? So. Okay. That's how it is. Damn, you're like a superstar in your city, then. Damn. Uh, Bro, it's crazy, bro. My first song that I ever released did a hundred thousand. What What do you think? So, like, just besides the content in itself, like, did Did you have like connections with anybody, or was that just like pure like word of mouth? That was just pure word of mouth. Like, okay. I ain't even have no followers. I don't. Even, I honest. I amazed myself with that. You feel me? Like. I was a nobody. Like, I literally was doing it because my brother couldn't do it because he went to jail. And I just, I don't know, I guess, like, people just knew me from, oh, that's that little, that's, that's, I used to be called Vaughn before Vino. That's Vaughn from Piran. That's Date Brother. My brother had a name because what he was doing out here in the streets and stuff like that, you feel me? So, like, when I first came out, it was all, oh, that's, that's Date Little Brother. And it went from there, like, they just started rooting for me. They respected it, me what I was doing, and they loved it. Okay, so did your brother have, like, was your brother, like, recording, or was he just kind of, like, doing it, like, every now and then? <laughs> he was doing it, but he wasn't really taking it serious. Like, him and his him and his, his main man, it was like his best friend. He got killed 
now, like so he ain't. Oh, but Damn. yeah, it's crazy. So uh, his best friend's name was Max. He had a little setup in his closet and stuff like that. You feel me? They thought they was grinding, but they weren't really taking it serious. You feel me? <laughs> they didn't have no quality or nothing, but it was pretty big for us. You feel me? We felt like we was doing something, and that's where it all started at. So now with you and your first song, did you record that or never mind? Um, were you like recording songs like like did you pile them up or did you just like make one and just put it out? Uh, the studio I was going to was so cheap. It was at uh, it was like around the corner from my grandma's house. I used to walk to the studio. It was at this this. this I remember the engineer name. His name was Young Coke. <laughs> and uh. He just charged me twenty dollars a song, so like I go over there, I drop like probably like two songs a day. You feel me? I record like two songs a day. That's what's up. And, and I drop it, and once it get to like ten thousand views, that's when I will drop the next one. So. Okay, so like your your fans it, like essentially had like a goal and shouted you out because they wanted to hear more. Okay. Yeah, like basically my music promoted itself and to this day it still do. Like I don't really have to do too much promotion. My fans do it themselves. Yeah, I just listening to the song that. and all that. Yeah. It is crazy. Because you always got like hella Instagram stories and Yeah, and um, it's getting out of control. I I don't even like posting that much, but so many people listening to the same song is it, it just looks weird, bro. <laughs> but street promotion, you feel me? I don't I don't really have to do too much work. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. That's definitely what's up. Yeah. What would you say, like, besides, you know, kind of carrying on your brother's legacy in a way would be your biggest inspiration in making music? Uh, Chief Keef. <laughs> Chief Keef. <laughs> yeah, like, when he came out, like, that, that nigga, like, inspired me 100%, bro. Like, I literally wanted to be that dude. Like, before Chief Keef came out, Wiz Khalifa was my first, my favorite rapper. So... That's why I like I'm into like vans and shit. You feel me? He used to wear chucks, but I fuck with the vans. You feel me? Like I think I'm a mixture of Chief Keef and Wiz Khalifa, 100. Like, <laughs> that's that's a cool 100 percent, but 100 percent that I'm Chief Keef and Wiz Khalifa at the same time. At the same time, so it's not like yeah. At moments, you're just no. It's the same savage. time. Like you see me, I look like a like a savage little bad little kid like Chief Keef. <laughs> little dreads, you feel me? I'm from the hood, feel me? But I actually, like, people always tell me, like, bro, you talk white, like, you talk proper. Like, that's the whiz in me, you feel me? Like, but I don't know. I don't notice it, but they always say I talk, like, I talk like I'm white or something. I don't notice it. I don't, I don't, yeah. Know that, but I don't notice it either, but I, I get it all the time, bro. It's weird. I mean, I don't see how someone could, re- I mean, I don't understand. I don't see how someone could really talk like white or black. Like yeah, that. but yeah, like you know, people say that, but it's really just proper or not proper. You feel me? They're ignorant. Like, the hardest people in the country to fucking understand are um, people who live in New Orleans, like white or black. Like oh yeah, dang, those people dang, talk. Dang. <laughs> yeah, they talk weird. It's some way what people they say weird, but they say stuff weird, bro. Like, That's really just because they're like su- they're like super country though. Yeah, it's like Stupid a weird country. like country though. Like, I mean, they even got like hoods and shit down there too. Like, yeah, I, I know they do. But like, their country is fuck. I feel like, like for yeah, sure. Yeah, bro. Like, like literally, like they. I feel like they're putting like extra like syllables and words. Like, they're like, bro, that's not how you say that word. Like, what are you doing? You feel me? Like, I don't know. But they I weird wish I with could it. Remember some of this shit. <laughs> New Orleans, you saying like? But I actually, did a my boy that I did decom. He's from New Orleans. Um, he didn't yeah. have an accent really that bad. Like I could understand him, but like I'm talking about like people and like um, swamp people and like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Louisiana is hella fuck. So I was doing some research on your Instagram and I saw that you had a picture with Cash Doll. What What was it like to meet her and how was that encounter? Uh, really at the moment I wasn't really a fan of her I was actually a fan after I met her like when I met her I didn't really know who she was cause I don't really listen to female artists you feel me but okay. it wasn't really too big for me you feel me like I'm just not a, like a big fan of her but like when I put the picture on my IG I seen like 
like crazy. All my fans like, dang, you met her? So I'm like, dang, I gotta really look into her, like see what she about. She nice. I, I, I fuck with her now. You feel me? She lit. I, I see she got a she had a song with uh Big Sean and shit. Damn, does she really had so that? I've never heard yeah. any of her music, but I did. I do like know that she's like a notarized like figure like a lot of yeah people she like, really look yeah she her. definitely got a she she nice with it i fuck with it but i looked into her after i met her she wasn't really too big like at the moment you feel me now um you're like uh, in the 94 group right uh like, you yeah say, you would say yeah yeah how, how did, did you say? get how did you get into the group <laughs> it's crazy man like I just met uh Bilo tried to book me for a sh- well he booked me for a show actually that's how we met he booked me for a show he had through a little showcase and I was just running around with him helping them get the show together because I'm like this at least I could do like food paying me he was paying me four hundred dollars for that show so like, I'm gonna I'm ride around with him because he he was he was been hitting me up for like a feature like. Weeks before that. So I'm like, I know Fool a fan and, and all that, you feel me? I'm going to help him out with his show and stuff. I was riding around helping him put put the flyers up and stuff like that. And I don't know, we just had a lot of talks when we was like on those long trips and rides and putting Chilling, that show yeah. together and stuff. And he told me what he wanted to do. Like, he like, bro, I want to start. Like, I want to turn this 94, this 94 shit into like a group, you feel me? Like, and I was just, I'm like, Honestly, I was, like, the first person who believed in him. Like, when he met me, he told me, like, bro, my homeboys don't even fuck with my music. And I was like, nigga, this shit fire, keep going. Ever since then, that nigga turned into a fucking music demon. He was a god at this shit. This shit's fire, <laughs> yeah, fire he, bro. He's good. Yeah. yeah, bro, it's crazy. Like, when I met him, bro, it, it wasn't like that. Like, he was good. Like, I seen the potential in him, you feel me? Like, to me, it was fire as fuck. But even the people who he grew up in a, and was around him didn't believe in him, like. He'll tell him, like, bro, I'm going to get a Vino feature. And they'll be like, yeah, right, a Vino feature. The mysterious Vino. You're going to get a feature with him. Feel <laughs> me? Like, and then once I told him, like, bro, this shit's fine. Like, I guess, bro, just had a confidence building. He, after that, he started going crazy, bro. But, yeah, I was just riding around with him and shit. He told me what he wanted to do, wanted to start the group and shit. And I was like, bro, I support it. I, I bought the first B- 94 Belo shirt. He had, he had, like, he bought like uh I think he only had like ten shirts. I bought the first ninety four Belo shirt. Like I just always supported it. You feel me? Like How I knew that it? his. I think I gave him like twenty five dollars for it. That's that's or, good. Yeah, I think I gave him twenty five. They're hard actually. Like they look cool. Like, yeah, but cool I'm letter. talking about this. This was the first batch. It didn't even look like how they look now. Like oh, it really? was literally just like. Probably heat pressed on or something. You feel me? Like I couldn't even fit it. It was big, but I just knew I wanted to support him because I just seen something in him. You feel me? Like I fucked it with it. He's definitely and, like, a real genuine person yeah, for sure. Yeah, I fuck with bro, and he just told me he wanted to do that. You feel me? And I supported it from day one. You feel me? Like and like people seen me support him, then they wanted a part. Like and he, but like he ain't really let everybody have a part of him. You feel me? Like. He, I remember there were days he would tell me, like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm thinking about making this person 94, you feel me? Like, and I'd be like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's your movement, you feel me? Like, I just want to see what you could turn it into, you feel me? And he, he did real good. Like, he went off people he know was solid and stuff. Like, so I felt with he, he he snapped with that. Yeah, he, he definitely, like, knows the game because he, he gave yeah. me some good advice as, as of, like, fuck with people that fuck with you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's like, it's crazy because the world don't even really know that I'm 94, you feel me? Like, I'm from a whole different side of them. Like, I'm I'm really Vino 400, but, like, that's my brother. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm 94 Vinny at the same time, you feel me? But the world don't really know that. They just know me as Vino 400. Uh, would you say that, like, if, like, the 94 stuff, like, blew up blew up i mean you know how like anything can blow up like off of yeah. and like anything would you say yeah. if that blew up before like like your alias is uh 94 benny that yeah. you would or if the 94 if yeah. the 94 Vinny blew up before the vino 400 if yeah. 94 blew up before 400 would yeah. i be Vinny or would i be vino 
Yeah. Uh, nah, like for me, it don't really matter. Like which whichever one go first, I'm always be Vino 400. Like that's why I originally started from. You feel me? Like that name got meaning behind it for me. You feel me? Like just on my whole situation. You feel me? Like 94 Vinny. That's just some. That's something the world don't know about. You feel me? They'll never understand. But Vino 400, they I describe that to the T. They know exactly when they hear that. They know what's up. You feel me? Like. You mentioned something about like the, the scribe, like is there like stuff in it that's more like subliminal that like someone who did wouldn't know understand or like uh I get the Vino part from cause my real name Devon and my nickname is Vaughn. Like my family call me Vaughn and I just got tired of that. Like I go to school and there be other niggas named Vaughn too. So I'm <laughs> like, bro, I don't want niggas to call me what these niggas are called, so I switched the N and the O. That's where Vino came from. And then, like, 400, that's my squad. Like, they're my brothers. That's who I grew up my whole life with. So, like, that, just that number alone means a lot and a whole lot of weight to me, you feel me? So, yeah. Uh, what are your, like, aspirations in, like, your music career? Uh, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't even know I can say that, like, I just do it with a passion, you feel me? I, I never knew where it was going to take me, you feel me? But I, I don't know. I can't really speak on the future, but I definitely want to be one of the biggest in the game. Okay, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Yeah. Um, now, you know, you talk about, like, you can't even go to the mall in your own city. And yeah. Like, that type of shit. Now, clearly, like, you're really notarized in your area. Are there any other yeah. rappers around your area or in your area that, like, drop tracks and stuff on you, like, just straight trying to come at your neck? Oh, this songs? Yeah. Oh, my God. It was one week where they were playing fucking Pinatel on Vino. <laughs> bro, it's like six Vino diss songs, out, bro. I literally see you the links after this. <laughs> and they all fucking suck. It's never been a good one, like. If it was a good one, I respect it. Like, I, well, honestly, I don't respect it at all because like half of these rappers built their career off of me. They like, I'm gonna make my first song. Fuck it, I'm a dish Vino. You feel me? Like, like that ain't how I started. Like, I actually started for a purpose. Like, yeah, you actually started. I just like music. This one, yeah, attention. like, and they actually, yeah, like they starting because they don't fuck with me or not even that. They, half of these niggas don't even know me. Like. They just listen to what other people say. They don't even know me, never seen me in person. Like, honestly, every person who made a diss song about me never seen me in person before. That's what's crazy about it. They don't even know me. They just really, they they fans. They want to be for me because they fans. That's, uh, hey, fuck whoever made a diss track on this guy. <laughs> You know, like yeah, facts. Fuck this nigga. Like, <laughs> it'd be different if he like you made a diss track on Lil Wayne or something. But like, come on now, like you can't be. Everybody got to work together. That's what that's yeah. what a lot of people don't understand. Like, like, yeah, what the founding fathers said. I mean, it's gonna sound corny, but you know, like, united we stand, divided we fall. Facts, bro. That's just my me. I ain't never really. I never really said no nigga name in my songs and dissed them. I'm not going to give them the time of day, give them the fame. That's free promotion, too. Like, all publicity is good publicity. Why the fuck would you do that? I mean, think about it. Like, people, like, those guys are probably just, like, the only thing that was on their mind it was you and how they're going to make fun of you or, like, tear you yeah. down. And when you yeah, saw that, it, you probably were just like, what the fuck? It never worked, and I don't really, I never really responded to none of them either. I just responded one time in one song, and not to a specific this song, just to all of them in total, you feel me? Like, and that song went crazy. It's called No Chase. Now, that song went crazy. Were those guys, like, all in a group? Because you said it was, like, a week, in a week span. Were they all, like, together? They were... Definitely from the same. Well, nah. Couple of them from the same area, and some of them from another area too. But That's crazy. it's definitely 
Yeah. It was definitely a group of them. Like, that first little week, I guess they just rounded up all their homeboys and said, fuck it, let's this Vino. <laughs> Got nothing else better to do. Fuck it. Our music ain't doing no views. This nigga getting all the views. Let's try to chip into his shit. <laughs> Bro, I think that's fine. What if, like, Chief Keef dissed you, though? Yeah, that's crazy, because Chief Keef is my favorite rapper. Exactly. If I asked you, what would you do? Would if you? I would be happy as fuck if Chief Keef dissed me, I'm pretty sure it'll be a deal on the table real soon. Cause yeah. he's just giving me a spotlight. Who is this nigga that Chief Keef dissed? Why the fuck did he diss him? That's it. Hey, you're right, bro. You're right. Um, so. What's like some things that you want listeners to know about you, or just like your fans in general, or anybody who supports you? Uh, um, that I am not a bad person. Like, people be thinking, like, oh, this nigga look mean. I ain't finna say nothing to him. Like, bro, I love the support. I love when people, like, I like when, like, don't do no weird shit, be staring at me in the mall and shit. But, like, if you know me and you a fan, you feel me? Come up on me and fuck with me, feel me? Like, because I ain't gonna lie, like, before I started, like, hanging with b them, a lot of people were scared to approach me just because how I look and people were around me and shit. They don't know what I'm on, you feel me? But, nah, it's all love. Like, you can approach me, you feel me? You can hit me up on the media. You can ask me for tips, you feel me? I respond, like, I do it all the time. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. It sounds like you're, like, really misunderstood in your community. 100%, bro. And, like, do you think just people thinking you're, like, a bad person, like, what what would give them a reason? Like, do you know why? The area I come from, the company I keep. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna act like I'm, like, a fucking perfectest kid in the world. Like, I don't do shit, you feel me? I, I have my times and shit, but... Like, a lot of people just judge me and don't know me, you feel me? Like, they don't really know shit about me. Like, yeah, that's it. You can never read a book by its cover. Like, you always got to yeah. give someone, like, one Yeah, chance. big f- facts. Like, people would probably think, like, oh, he a badass legit. He just an ignorant-ass kid walking around with guns all day, bro. I'm smart as fuck. Like, I'm not your typical kid from the hood. I'm fucking smart. I'm not a dickhead. No. You said you started rapping three years ago, and you're 19 now. Did you mm. did you graduate high school, or did you yeah. kind of quit yeah. high? Oh, you did. Nah, nah, I graduated. Okay. I was I was in I was in school when I was rapping, <laughs> so that was that was a nice experience. I ain't gonna lie. They yeah, treated me like a, nice. they treated me like a straight player in school, boy. I was like, I I was fucking with the attention. I ain't gonna lie, cause I dropped my first video. It was my 12th grade year. It was like the beginning of my 12th grade year. And I had found out about my cameraman, uh, Spider G. I found out from him through, uh, one of my classmates. Uh, his name was, uh, his name Bloody Bleak. He's still doing music and shit. Shout out to him. He's going crazy. He told me about the cameraman. He showed me his work. I'm like, this nigga fire. And he was only charging $80 at the time. Like, I knew Spider G for, since the beginning of my, my career, like, and I'm still, I still only fuck with that cameraman to this day. He was only charging $80 back then. Now he had like 400 Fuck, so yeah. I, I, I actually got one of the, like, one of the first Spider G videos, you feel me? Like, he only had a few videos out around that time. So, yeah. I mean, shit. Think about it. Like, I'm assuming he does, like, all the editing and shit, too. Yeah, he lit with the editing. I feel like he the best cameraman down south. I definitely gotta check some some of his videos out. Got to. He's crazy, bro. I mean, four hundred is like still like a good price because like yeah. the camera. Oh, he got it. He got man. Listen, he got the best prices in town, best quality in town. And he's the best editor in town. If you ask me, not trying to throw anybody under the bus because a lot of people who do their work. Shout out to GFX, shout out to 20K Visuals, but I'm rocking with my boy Spider G, you feel me? He, that's my first cameraman, and that's, that's how it's going to stay, you feel me? I like that name, Spider G. 
It's like, yes. It just, like, rolls off your tongue, bro, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that, that kid's a genius, bro. <laughs> um, are there some people that you like to shout out? Like, anybody? Uh, some artists, yeah. Shout out to the whole 94. Uh, I was listening to some, uh, dude that today, his name, uh, I think his name, OP the Movement. Yeah, that's his name. He got a song called, called Diamonds. I was fucking with that shit today. I was in my room listening to that shit like this nigga snapping. Shout out to OP the Movement. Yeah, it's a long ass name, but he nice with it. Uh, Shout out to my squad, my vultures. Uh, keep boogieing them. Uh, Prince Mac, Young Cash, they going crazy. They from the Cutler Bay area. Uh, Swervo, he got one of the biggest songs down south, so I respect Lebron for that. And it's a lot of it's a lot of other people you feel me, but I just ain't gonna miss the whole world right now. Thank you for listening to the In the Sky podcast, and thank you, Vino, for hundred coming on man all love bro